Executive Mosaic is pleased to highlight the achievements of Andy Green and William LaPlante, two esteemed leaders who have been selected for the 2023 WASH 100 class. In a new exclusive video interview, Executive Mosaic spoke with Lauren Nossenberger, Chief Information Officer for the Department of the Air Force, to better understand where the Air Force's friction points are and how the service is moving through them to improve the user experience for its operators. Visit executivemosaic.com to watch. Amentum has won a potential five-year, $487 million remote maintenance and distribution center contract from the U.S. Army to support modernization, comprehensive logistics and sustainment initiatives at facilities outside of the continental U.S. Raj Iyer, the outgoing Chief Information Officer of the U.S. Army and a two-time WASH 100 awardee, discussed how the digital requirements and resourcing construct has been established to provide the CIO office with more authority when it comes to making decisions and prioritizing IT requirements. Brendan Carr, a commissioner of the Federal Communications Commission, has applauded the introduction of a bipartisan bill that would direct the FCC to publish a list of companies that hold an FCC authorization and have links to China and other foreign adversarial governments. The proposed ruling is part of efforts to counter the influence of such regimes on U.S. telecommunications infrastructure. Jeffrey David Singleton, a science and technology executive at the Department of Defense, has been appointed the U.S. representative to the board of directors of NATO's Defense Innovation Accelerator of the North Atlantic Initiative. The Department of Defense is facing requirements from Congress to justify its use of Section 804 mid-tier acquisition and other authorities that seek to simplify the procurement process to rapidly deploy military capabilities to warfighters on the field. The European Council has approved a draft administrative agreement between the U.S. military and the European Defense Agency to strengthen their cooperation on defense initiatives. Join GovConWire's event's third annual IC Acquisition and Technology Innovation Forum on March 9, 2023. Visit govconwire.com slash events. The Networking and Information Technology Research and Development's National Coordination Office has begun requesting industry input on the latest update to the Federal Cybersecurity Research and Development Strategic Plan. The National Institute of Standards and Technology has issued a request for public comment for a draft special publication on a zone-based high-performance computing system reference model.